Yeah. Wait, watch this cat. Can you see? She's crazy. She is nuts. Hey. She, hey. Oh. What are you doing? Hey. Watch. It's taken many times for me to learn I know this garden's where I want to grow My life was like a seed of inhibition But now I feel like a flower in the sun Now the life I want to live has just begun My darling, I have dreamed of you forever I can't escape the truth of what I know It's taken many times for me a tumbling Know this garden's where I want to grow. Hey y'all, welcome to Styrus Homestead. I'm Zach. I'm Jen. And today we are making a mess. So see all that junk, all this stuff everywhere. We are cleaning out this. When we first built it, it was gonna be our spare bathroom. Now it turned into a walk-in closet, which always resulted in a big old junk room that just had all of our stuff because uh, we don't have another building here yet. So this just seemed to be where everything was collected. So we are working on cleaning it out because this is gonna be our uh, pantry for all of Jen's canned goods. Because right now, the previous years, we just stuffed cans everywhere, anywhere we can. So we're trying to get a little bit better. Uh, this is the darkest, furthest room away from our wood burning stove. Uh, so it stays dark, it stays pretty cool for the most part. So it's just an ideal spot for a pantry. So we are working on cleaning it out. That's the first step we gotta do. Once we get everything, <laughs> help. <laughs> right, send help please. Um, but once we get this bad boy cleaned out, then we can start actually doing some pantry work. Um, but you know, good, we're about to get a bunch of clothes today. So this thing, um, if you've seen in some of our previous videos, I mean, it was pouring out. We had stuff all the way out to the carpet. Uh, so we've already done quite a bit of work in here. At least we can move in here. So now Jen is actually sorting through her clothes on what she wants to keep and what she wants to get rid of. And it's our process of being minimalist and That's not having right. too much stuff. That is right. For the record, <laughs> I only kept three items of clothing out of this. So we'll see how much she keeps. I've gotten rid of a lot. Has she? Yeah. Wait, watch this cat. Can you see? She's crazy. She is nuts. Hey. She, hey. Oh. What are you doing? Hey. Watch. <laughs> that did not work <laughs> okay so we're gonna keep cleaning um we will check back in y'all once this thing's wiped out and clean and then we'll tell you what we're gonna do with some, for some shelving she's clean and it's dark empty yep so we are completely empty we've cleaned out it's a very big room uh like we had mentioned at first it was gonna be a spare bathroom but it just never has got there and we have other needs so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the wood slabs uh, that we got for the firewood bundle to make our shelving we're trying to do this completely free um, and we already have this stuff we're going to try to use it so we're going to start with the back wall and it is i think it was said it was six foot wide okay so sometimes whenever you're doing a project and you're really not exactly sure how it's going to come together uh, there's not a whole lot of time to really explain exactly how we do these things but we've done one so now we'll bring you along to explain a little bit more so what we did here is this is six foot long and these are two foot tall um, and then all we did and as you can tell these are mainly just for support um, these are extremely heavy boards by themselves um, but i was able to get a screw up here at an angle into this board and the same on this side like a pocket hole like a pocket hole but <laughs> 
not a pocket hose because <laughs> I didn't make pocket hose. And then what I did was I actually took a screw on the top here and put it into a stud on this side and this side. So as you can tell, it's not going anywhere and it's extremely sturdy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again, but instead of two foot legs, I'm going to do one foot legs. The reason we did two foot down here was just so this wouldn't be wasted space and we could have stuff in there. If I did one foot, it would be awfully close to the ground. Uh, and we just didn't want that. So now we're moving to one foot, so it'll be about this high. And then we'll probably do another one the exact same way. So we'll probably have three shells right here, as long as the wood holds up. It's a good idea, wasn't it? It was a good idea. <laughs> well, it's still not the easiest way to make shells in the world. But, but it's, it's free. <laughs> it's, it's free, we already had it. It's a fairly pretty look. Um, Hopefully no ants come out. We try yeah. to check and make sure, but none have come out so far. Yeah, it definitely gives you the rustic look. I love it. I like it. It's just not as, which I'm not a very good carpenter as it is. So I guess for me it might be good. But if you're a carpenter, you probably freak out a little. But yeah, uh, it's definitely not exactly level. It's fairly close. Uh, I think actually Jeff King, our good friend, uh, <laughs> that's in the stop trap, I told him I said too many times in a project that ah, it's level enough. I'm doing that right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. What do you think? Pretty. I think it looks super cool. Okay, so what we did to kind of give you a little update because I had said that I was going to do 12 inches on the legs. We actually ended up going 18 because 12 just seemed a little bit too small. So we got two foot on the bottom and then 18 inches there for each of the other two sets of legs. Um, but it's about, well, when you look at it, it's like exactly six foot high. <laughs> Total of what it goes to It's because uh, I'm six foot. So that is the back wall, and I think it looks great. I think it's beautiful. Now it's time to get your uh, canned goods on here. Sacrifice sections of my heart So I decided I would press restart And that I better get to living cause life's too short I'm fine with myself now It is done. So we're about to go show it to you uh, and all the stuff. So there's a little bit of, there's not clutter. It's an organized clutter, but it's like, yeah. it's like our Christmas tree and stuff. We just have it here because soon it'll be out. Um, but it is fully stocked. It's not 100% done. We're getting there. We have another thing to do, but this was a big major step yeah. in the right direction. I want more shelves and more yeah. organization stuff, but at the moment it's done. <laughs> it's done. So let's start with where it was first. Yeah. So if you go back a couple videos, really any of our videos where we show where it was, um, we had a bench here. We had all of our canned goods on it. We had canned goods underneath of it and everything. So one of the biggest urges for us to get this done soon is you can see how close it is to our wood burning stove. So we knew we needed to move these. Those canned goods cannot handle that heat. But it's right there beside it because it, it'll, the heat will make the sill pop, right? right? Right, so we can't have it there. It really needs to be in a cool, dry spot. So that was like our main urgency of, we've got to do something, we've got to do something pretty quick. Yeah. So now, it's all in here. Also, I don't think y'all ever saw, but this area was a mess 
there was boxes of mason jars it was overflowing just stuff everywhere so we had to clean all that up this was full of clothes and storage stuff and just absolute junk Good mostly uh, <laughs> so now you can see i've got my pressure canners and my water bath canner instapot um, meat grinder food saver stuff like that dehydrator onions and potatoes i'm going to find some kind of organization system i want some like baskets or something um, all the butternut squash, all kinds of canned good. There's corn, there's pepper jelly, cowboy candy, bell peppers, pickles, sterilized water, more butternut squash, and then all these shelves are full. So that's pretty much all of it, but there is still some pickles and tomato juice in our kitchen because it's kind of decoration. <laughs> um, but those are staying and it is full lots and lots of goodies yes it is and then down there is like egg cartons and stuff like that for all of our eggs and some like bulk stuff um, napkins and cups and stuff like that for the harvest celebration over here is the christmas tree not a permanent space because i really want more shelves up here which we will yeah. we're gonna do the same thing we did there we just we did we ran out of wood yeah so. but christmas is in a month so there's no need to take that out and put it somewhere and then all of my stock of mason jars um, vinegar stuff like that pickling salt which there's a bunch underneath the bench yeah stuff too. all kinds of good stuff so what do you think i like it i was I hoping the light because <laughs> it's dark here so we'll get some light in here and get it all set up uh to be honest with you all i did not think it would turn out like it did i didn't either jen had this idea she said i want to use the slabs i'm like okay how are we going to use the slabs one side's flat which is where the jars have to be how in the world am i going to make this thing sturdy enough with a rounded backside this worked out just fine so i was I really happy it. with how it turned out i think it's very pretty looks so good and we'll do it like i said on the other two walls to get stuff off the ground um, but for now at least all of our jars are away from the heat in a nice cool dry yes. spot and off the ground it's, it's so good so pretty i love having a pantry so long term obviously we want more shelves more canned goods I also want to do bulk stuff like flour, sugar, stuff like that. We mm -hmm. recently just found a Amish store near us yeah. and they sell everything in bulk. So that's where we're now buying our stuff. Um, it's all homegrown and ha home packaged stuff like that by them. Um, so I want to store it in like five gallon buckets and you know, food save it and stuff like that and just have this entire pantry full of stuff yeah, to yeah. where it's, you know, food that's gonna last forever. And uh, even when one of the, uh clothes racks that we had on each side if you caught that at the beginning of this video I actually hung it up top and so what that allowed is for me to put some chains and some yeah. strings down for her to be able to hang stuff onions uh different things her loofahs herbs herbs yeah. things that just need to be hung so that's a, it's we're using every spot of this place Love and it. we're just going to so keep cool. adding shelving to really maximize all the space yeah. that we have but it's like a root cellar but oh. in the house <laughs> it's the off-grid root cellar off when you don't have a root cellar that's right <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So we have 1440 square foot in our off-grid cabin, semi-off-grid, on its way to fully off-grid. And you know, this is one of those issues when you're really trying to make sure you have sustainable living for an entire year. Where are we gonna put everything? Yeah. You know, it's you really got to be creative on the stuff that you have or where you're putting stuff. So we are sacrificing the second bathroom, <laughs> uh, future second yeah. bathroom, to make it our pantry spot. And it's a big area. We're going to be able to really pump a lot of stuff in here and it's kind of our prep room, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. We're not preppers by any means when it comes to, you know, the end of the world We're not stuff. really intentional preppers, but exactly. we kind of are preppers. <laughs> right. In our heads, it's more of uh, that ice storm that takes out power for right. two weeks or if I was to just some out of nowhere lose my job kind of thing. So that's, that's what we're prepping yeah. and security for. So I love the look. It's love very it. pretty. I'm glad you like it. I have wanted this pantry for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> we found I was supposed to build a hoop house today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the materials for that too. So uh, y'all see that later off uh, later on this week, probably. Um, I'll get it built because we're going to have four total hoop houses and this one that's coming is going to be on a frame and done yeah. more the correct way yeah. uh, than the first one, even though the first one's working just great. <laughs> So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Anything I hope else it you're... inspired you a little, maybe. Yep. You know, if you have a space like this, or if you don't, maybe you can turn something into one. And like we said, it was completely free. Just use what you have. Use what's laying around. And, yep. you know, if you don't have anything, then get on, you know, the internet and stuff like that and look for free resources because 
this was done completely free. <laughs> yeah, and if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about with the slab wood, it's actually a firewood bundle at our yeah. local lumber mill. Um, they sell them in big bunches. It's like 35 bucks for a lot of wood. Yeah. Uh, and it comes in these big long slabs that you see right here. Uh, and then you can just cut them up and use them for a million different things. We and had bought one a long time ago, so. We actually had two of them, but yeah, yeah we had, but that's what we made our raised beds out of. Mm -hmm. the, the front three, the smaller ones, they're made out of this. So there's so many uses for it and it's cheap lumber might as well, right? All right, y'all. That's it. <laughs> I hope you love it as much as we do. Yep. <laughs> I was waiting for the we love you. Oh, we love you. <laughs> Until the next one. Bye. Bye.